What's up everyone? Today I will show you how to set up a sealed lead acid battery. This is a typical power sports battery. This is good for motorcycles or scooters. If you've ever bought one of these, you may have noticed it's not quite ready to go out of the box. So I'll show you what you need to do. I'll be working with sulfuric acid, so safety glasses and gloves are required. The box contains a funnel for filling the battery and an instruction book. Make sure you read all of the instructions. The most important part is the charging procedure, which is different for all batteries. This container is concentrated sulfuric acid. It is very dangerous. Don't let it get on anything, especially not your skin or your eyes. If you do, wash it off with lots of water immediately. This is the battery. CT5L is the size. The letters vary a bit with different manufacturers, but the same battery will probably have a number 5 in there somewhere. I'll be working on a tray in case I spill any acid. Start by removing the battery seal. The funnel has sharp tubes that will open the acid container. Place the funnel into the battery, then press the acid container down hard to open it, then wait a minute as the acid fills the battery. Once it's done, remove the funnel. The little drops here are sulfuric acid. It can eat holes through metal and make you go blind, so keep that in mind, it's dangerous. This is an AGM battery. That means absorbed glass mat. The acid is soaking into basically a cloth material inside the battery now. At this point, I need to give the battery one hour for the sulfuric acid to absorb into the cells. This should be done in a well-ventilated area, so I'm going to open the window. After one hour, it's time to install the battery seal. This part is a tight fit and will keep any acid from spilling out. Install the terminal screws, then wipe down the outside to get any extra acid off. Next, I'm going to charge the battery for three hours at one amp. That's basically a trickle charge. An automatic smart charger is recommended. I don't have one, so I'm setting my charger to about 13.2 volts which will give the battery one amp. At this point, I'm gonna let the battery charge for one to three hours, according to these instructions. The best type of charger for this is a trickle charger. I wanna charge it at about one amp. On my charger, the amperage will actually go down as the battery becomes more charged. So when the battery is fully charged, this number will actually go down to zero. After the battery is fully charged, take it off the charger, let it sit for two hours, then check the voltage again. It should be at least 12.7 volts. If it isn't, you might need to charge it a little bit more, but whatever you do, don't just throw it in your motorcycle. Um, I know when you buy a new battery, you usually need it right away. And unfortunately with this type of battery where you need to fill up the acid, you just can't do that. You must go through the procedure. You must give it time to charge. Otherwise your battery would be bad. You wanna get five years out of this battery. If you don't follow these instructions, It'll work for six months and then it'll die. So I've done it, I, I know. So follow the instructions and you're gonna have a good battery. And what to do with the sulfuric acid. Take it to your local hazardous waste facility. I don't wanna do that. I don't even know where that is. Let's just take care of this here. This is a little bit of baking soda. This will neutralize any acid that's on here. Just kind of will fizz a little, right? The baking soda will react with the sulfuric acid, turning it into carbon dioxide and salt, which is not hazardous and easy to wash away. And now that the acid is neutralized and diluted, this stuff is no longer hazardous. You can just throw it away, recycle it, whatever.